we okay, see, chat, let's see uh, it. are running a lot of echo at the moment with just the skyboxes on this map alone. However, I know like Savenko. I've, I've, I've played with Savenko a lot. Winston, Anna, going to be I think Ludwig as well. I've seen him here Chile and there. The exact same thing with the mix and set. is really uh, familiar yeah, we as well. Earlier. It didn't really work out to a, a great effect, so the swap came through to uh, from Matra. Frock taking a ton of poke as well early on, but it gets those heals from Lazu on the high ground as Chile just regroups around it. Brazil have the entirety of the point under the control. Chile has to be rotating over this point incredibly quickly. The onus is on them to make that rotation. Point almost goes in the favor of Brazil, but incoming Ram with a touch. A nice anti-grenade on the frack as well to keep him low in this fight. Eventually, will lose Mech as well. The heal's not enough to keep them alive. Brazil is Where the hell is this guy's outside. crosshair? We're able to capture the point. A dynamite on the back can't get cleansed, but Ludwig able to avoid that damage. Eventually, Jesus we'll find Christ, that Jesus Christ, I can't Ludwig even... Was Am so I blind? Overwatch. Just kidding, it's a different guy. Neo also chases down Papo on the low ground, but out also goes as well in Brazil. Clean for fight for them. So I'm a huge fan of Ash, but only when you're in control of that fight and you can use the he dynamite failed to getting up there to <laughs> play towards either the Oh, that's an easy job. Diva. Come Especially on, when you're man. Diva into the Sombra. Look at the charge on EMP. You're just an absolute battery. First Venko on the Sombra who's Ooh. going to have EMP in the Ooh. next fight. The nice pull. He learned that one from me, extra Jet. style points. And Chili are going to be waiting another couple of moments for the full regroup to come through. Yeah, and by then, that EMP is going to be packaged, it's going to be parceled, and it's going to be wrapped and left right on their doorstep. Oh, yeah. I, I, I freaking love this. This man. is a great sign for Brazil for and their like fans to see both Tracer players starting off strongly. Your history teacher must be fine as shit board. then. Chilly Crash! To get Christian has three months. That full farm ready to go, building up towards that bob as well. The Val finds those shots on the new who jumps down to the open. Ram picks so much damage dropping down. Also gets hit by the EMP, but a nice nade from Lanzo to keep him healthy. Also, the and Brazil is running away with this right now. Great support gameplay from Chile on a full spawn from Ram on the back line. What a connection from him. Also finds that, that Anna, but the health pack is hacked. So Exel can play around the health relatively well. Goes for that sleep start, does not hit it. Oh, the back oh line. Now he's caught out. He's caught out. That tracer should be able to die. So the bow is oh, able nice to find shot Neo. by and then on the as well. The rig attest for Chile is successful as they claim the point. Yeah, gorgeous kiting coming through from Ram. Goes I think I played with this guy a lot point. too. Like, this guy's actually really Anna. fucking good. I've seen this guy in the ladder before. As well, Spenko has to actually go for the peel to try and save his backline, and as a result, the Barrett entirely uncontested gets to finally set himself up on the high ground and put these dynamites to work as for real comfort. Walk into the point. Bob is out on the point as well to contest it. Make sure. This Winston has trouble. Neil opts to back out. Ludwig takes a bit of damage, but nobody uh, can get this up. Engaged. From Brazil on the inside, although what up, what up? Benko has Thanks to translocate back towards that mega health pack. They know where he is. Coach gun actually to boost Nail away from the point as they know nobody else can contest. Chili's going for an outside dive, but they give up that point. Ludwig has the full spawn. His rotation now happens for Chili. Hack comes through in a frack, but he's still able to get off that diva bomb. The rally on the point to potentially kill this diva. As that's, good, that's a good that's a good full spawn. They get the diva out of the mech, but <laughs> I mean they didn't get the diva out of mech. Still low HP though. Nice kill on the fucking brig though. Jesus Christ. With that primal rage of Neil and Ludwig combining on a papo, gives them those two kills. 85% of the board, Neil will jump back to his Yeah, pulse the diva, pulse the tank. Chat, you guys don't know how fucking Neil. valuable a tank is in Overwatch 2. Yeah, There's only one tank. Take out the EMP tank. That's like all their space Spanko. created. Lazu, by the way, is onto the Kiriko. There's the Doomfist pick that we anticipated to come through. They're onto these fast moving heroes to just try and keep this overtime in play for as long as possible, but no one can really position around the EMP when it comes out. And that's going to be Brazil just cleaning up the Damn, and taking bro. the first point. Damn, bro. Ludwig's looking so good on the Tracer. Ludwig. And, you know, overall, Brazil. What I don't know what he does for today, his fucking pre-game shit, Obviously, but whatever he's doing is fucking line. working. This man is cracked. Yes, play. From Brazil. This man yeah, is honestly, fucking play cracked from right now. The fact that we only really saw x being caught out of position once or twice, and a lot of the time it wasn't actually down to his fault. It was just really good kiting coming for, from Chile. As we can have a look at some of this Ludwig Tracer. Is there a uh, well, Brazilian Discord for all the you know players and whatnot? And are some of these players in there? When they know that they've zoned that honor away. And I love this. I, I, I love and hate this. Why, why the heck did this guy have to <laughs> yeah, choose a go, name? Go, go tell... Is... The same as a prominent oh figure. Oh my in god, go tell him, chat. So Ludwig. That he decided to go with it. Maybe in the Brazilian scene, you know Ludwig as much, obviously. No, but, I'm pretty uh, sure the most famous Ludwig is uh, Beethoven. But... So is Debout, too. Hey, Debout is, is fucking oh. cracked. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Change the topic here. Chili now onto that diva with the Pharah as well. Do have that pocket. We talked about sort of these interesting 
kind of not cheese comps, but fair comps. I never knew countries through. had their own Discord kind of for like their, out their of, uh, or a page for Overwatch out of until Saudi I went to like Iceland and yeah, Iceland yeah, actually yeah, invited me to there. That is so fucking cool. I love it. I love how like close the the community is. They're untouchable. Yeah, they roll through. Ram over to the top. Goes for that damage. But we get picked off early from Frack, who chases him down on the Diva. But Svenko does trade back Lazarus, so all of those healing heals are gone. But the resurrect now from Papo is here to bring him back in this fight, bringing a lot of the value in that Mercy pocket as well as Ram just kind of free to do whatever. They don't touch the point though. Mm -hmm. So Brazil are the first ones to capture it. Brazil keep rotating around to find Lazarus. The damage not able to be found by Ram at the moment. That's oh. the problem with running the Sparrow. However, now he's come back down to Exo trying to relocate back around with the Fade. He's able to find that damage. Chili has, dis has disengaged the, the uh, push oh by Brazil Oh my there. god, now, Ram. Ram. Okay, okay, Ram. Okay. As well. they slowly work the way Is it Ram or Ram? Point, and we'll capture it again. Chili just have to be careful. By running this pharmacy, you're essentially taking every single fight free versus Ram. five if Brazil are able to collapse onto that back line. And that's Ram. what Brazil are trying to do. They're Ram. just ignoring the far and going straight for what should be a defensive Ana. But Lazo actually bodyguarded by this far, just hanging above that Ana's head, making sure that no one can actually dive on with that concussive. Hey, Brazil do claim that point back. They get to walk through that cage side now. Ram, though, setting up with that barrage play. No defensive matrix to shut him down besides maybe a hack. From the Svenko on He's the probably going to barrage the tank, He's yeah. He's to get back to his team and go for the barrage onto the Winston. Mm. Doesn't have time away. Gets him incredibly low, but he's able to yeah, survive. However, Ram comes back. In denial on the backside. Papa also gets the oh, rest on the oh, last move. Fly, fly. Connects onto the Diva, and it touches Ram's toes to connect onto him. Papa, though, does whip out the Glock and take down Ludwig on the backside, but it doesn't matter because x still and the rest of Brazil collapse on it about Frack as well as Lazu and still have control of that point. Bro, that That's is crazy that Rum was like popping the, the fuck off that whole Brazil's time like, and they only have 12%. They only have 12 percent to play the objective and as much damage uh, as you do, Overwatch two months. is always going to favor the team in control of the point. Brazil has 74%, we're heading into final fight territory and Chile don't have the damage burst to be able to follow up on the EMP. Percent on the board too. I mean, that's terrifying to go against. Nicole Lessons as well on the back line. There's that EMP from Devout though. Like you mentioned, on the front line to keep them sustained is that Valkyrie. Diva Bomb can crack here. Do they sustain against it? Able to avoid that damage from the D-Bomb as well. Ultimate's already used. No kills for Chili. So Brazil now comes back in with that Primal Rage. 96% on the board. Frack yes. has to rotate towards it. Use the thrusters to avoid being thrown into the middle of the pit. It's Neil trying to find some kills here. Eventually they'll find Lazarus, but Expo's taking down a turn below. Frack goes for the final blow. Matt Ram does Ludwig, back, Ludwig, Ludwig is just in the, the kill feed, bro. Well. He's and just dominating right now. On the Chile as they rotate around the point, even with that skybox to work with, they still have to contest the point. Ram able to do so. We'll go back to the sky last second. The Sombra will touch. Barrage from Ram! Oh, oh my god! But he was too high for the barrage! He was too high for the barrage! So he was winning that fight! Second. And Brazil will win on Ilio. Okay, Here game starting. Let's that's, get it. Second map. Really, Chile that's versus that's Brazil. That's Brazil. Echo locations in Yada, huh? Maybe new bats. Yo, I'm machine. actually Germany's coach. What? You can reach okay, me on Discord if you want to know about our strats for upcoming and matches. And nah, well, you, nah, there ain't no way a coach would give out well. fucking we'll information like that. Get out of here. Yeah, is it going to be a one shot coming through from this hands, or are they going to safely be able to keep this payload moving around the corner? Spanko is looking for it. He knows that Chile is essentially just stuck. They're even trying to use Papo's break shield themselves a little bit of survivability so that the bike can try to push on to this hand so who's also getting the do i vote for team out. usa my homeland or do i vote for canada song. my girlfriend's home you said both Fuck your girlfriend bro Hanzo, so neither goes down root for your own well, country like the by the way playing that hanzo to give them a potential one shot but so far chili are the ones being pressured by an anti-grenade and they actually look aggressive now ludwig though on the low ground meanwhile what 2v2 is happening on the listen high all ground, i'm gonna say is is your girlfriend sub to j3 no team usa all the way let's yeah, get it hasn't even moved that far either because dalk has been just Aubrey, appreciate the massive new uh, prime moving from the high ground to the low ground keeping it contested so it doesn't get to move into wait she is a she's a sub oh shit. you're a tier three sub you're a higher tier Stay on the payload and force Brazil USA. to give up the high ground where they're in so much control with the Sansa composition. Yeah, I mean, Dalka's been playing so well, just going back and forth, making sure 
You said that 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 table doesn't push now. A minute thirty off the clock already. Dragon strike off the high ground to zone out. The bout has to back up. No cart space given yet. Still either anti grenade on the cart. So Frank can't push it anymore as well. As Tracer's on the cart, dealing with some damage now. Nana Boost also on to Frack to try to find that kill. Spanko backs off from the high ground to avoid that engage from Frack. Eventually, the Nana Boost will wear off, but Svenko wants to keep holding his high ground, keep pressuring the Hanzo. Neither able to find that opening pick because of the defensive matrix and also that Brigitte shield. Oh, so okay, change Hanzo's. the subject. Some of y'all are weird, bro. Shots, Meg, what are you saying? Find those kills. Ludwig comes around the back with that fourth bomb ready to go with the Nana Boost as oh, well. Oh, what a sleep. On to Ludwig. Do what they have a to sleep. They do, but, but it might be too late. They've already lost two members of the team. Svenko also finds the bout, but Ram has traded X so it's still a two versus two. Hanzo and Tra Hanzo and Diva versus Diva and Tracer. Svenko has to drop off the high ground. Stack Frack will chase him down in baby Diva form to get that kill. Eventually, Danka will use that. Brazil's looking really strong right now. His life to make sure he can remech here. Frack will come back, but the closer spawns are in favor of Brazil. Ram also not able to get the health pack. Has to translocate away. Ludwig playing that perfectly in that spot, in that individual micro uh, spot, as the fight will kind of go back to a neutral angle. <laughs> Yeah, and again, we're going to see Hanslow versus Hanslow, Brick Shield to help out, but Divine does have that Dragon Strike bolt up as far as away from the Diva, and he can send it through mm -hmm. without having to worry about I'm actually really surprised that wasn't eaten. Cut into the back line, but no kills picked up. Kaisen right into a three-person anti-nade, however. We're still going to see Chile now moving in with that rally. Brazil going to mirror it, and now it's all about sustainability. Fantastic disengage from Brazil, trying to relocate around that point. Drop their own Dragon Strike off to zone out the payload. No deaths, however. On both sides, Storm Arrow from the bout to try to find that Brigitte, who has been living now, eventually will fall, but Frack. Frack is actually also doing a lot of, a lot for his team. Frack is actually really good, and he still has the point. As well to continue his damage on that back line. The Diva still here, Daka will lose. Oh, nice, they actually capped it. Holy shit. Frack is insane, dude. Smart from Chile, however, not to go for whoever's on uh, whoever's in the Chile Discord. The tell him I said frack from that fight in warehouse. Brazil very good right back to that high ground stalemate that they had Chile locked into. He is so he's he's caring right now. And he ate the pulse, bro. Let's talk about absolutely nothing. The pulse one finds absolute squat. Frack comes in with a defense matrix, gobbles that one up, and Brazil not going to be able to find an early pick to keep Chile from snowballing and holding this high ground as they try to come through these chokes. <laughs> In the bout now finds Svenko. I mean, Frack, what an outstanding diva player he's been. To now enable the bout, maybe get back in this series. They chase down that backline out of the fight. Also, Ram gets ran. On you know what's really cool? Two. The fucking Chilly white fire. That, that white fire second. looks so Does fucking clean. That is clean as shit. He got stuck though on the back, so unfortunately he's back towards that payload. However, Dalka still not able to find a lot of damage with the Nana Boost just to maybe zone off that back line to give his team some space. But Exco out of baby Diva form hits those shots on the frack. Amazing work from him. And also with an anti grenade on the Papo, but about those trade back Spenko. But nice work from Exfil to get Nice Brazil shot, game. bro. The now hits a shot on the low one. He wants to commit the Dragon Strike. The defensive mix is also not there to zone off the back line. That gives them that kill. But Exfil trades it back. Oh and my god, bro. He also almost got the fucking Ana. This is a one-man so show. This guy's insane, too. So Debout. Debout. Rum. Frack. That Chili is actually a really good fucking team. I didn't know any of these players, but they're showing up. Exfil really coming up in terms of those kills. Means that Chili is forced to take a much longer rotation to be able to dodge out of these one shots potentially coming through from Svenko and it means that they are down to one minute in the time bank. Two all plus to work with and Brazil have the high ground above them. At Narima, pretty the best of seven months. Matrix is here and Frank eats that full spawn from Ludwig. Great work from that team player on Chili's side. Ram drops down below, waiting with that full spawn, looks for the Hanzo, drops out of the doorway. But unfortunately, nice work from Svenko to avoid all of that damage. Meanwhile, rally is happening for Brazil's side while Nana Boost and Lazo to keep Frack healthy, but he's still going quite low. Spenko looking for those one shots. Tracer back here. Right you know what I like seeing? I like seeing like the overall like POVs of everyone because as, as soon as you see someone take damage, you see the, the support fucking go straight to them and they're healing right away. Like at the split second they take damage.
chilling now. Might even lose level on that. So it's fucking. It it's it's cool to see the reaction down, time and everything and all the coordination that's going on. Pretty fucking cool. Gonna be able to have him back until we the team synergy. Trying to get a touch onto this payload, but even if they're able to, there's no way to hide from the substrate. Run, Papo, run! No, he eventually oh, man. goes down. Dalton here as well on to Ram over time. Now it takes away. Doomfist does get the punch off to eventually touch, but with the nano boost of Brigitte. Brazil, and man. Here, and nobody else Brazil. alive. That ends Chile's push on the streets phase. So that means Brazil will be going over to attack and only have to get it. Brazil's disgusting, yeah, Brazil man. Brazil's disgusting. Strong, Brazil's disgusting. Just being able to control all of those high ground avenues, having that just pressure overwhelmingly coming through from Svenka while also guaranteeing that the payload does not get free push. From Chile, Delka is a good, good Let's diva be honest, player. So making sure that you're able to negate the one versus good one diva victory. player. You send someone to touch cart. Cart then pushes all of the defense off of the high ground, and that means that the Hansel just does not have that opening control of all of those fights. It just didn't happen. They never got the opportunity to be able to put Ram into that position, and all of that comes down to Delka. Yeah, for sure, Delka doing a great job pushing forward. But you know, to be honest, on the flip side, just to give something to uh, to Chile, it seems like Frack. Really has been doing great as an aggressive diva player, but you know at Fast times. Fast were perfect. I mean, yes, pack yeah. to pack pulse bomb meets coming through from that diva, and even more. Wait, on the flip what did side she say? No, she, there's no way. I didn't even hear her. There's no way she said. Initial fight nah. control that we saw in Brazil's hands now flips over when the side flips as well. Yeah, now the defensive side, like you said, I mean, it's, it's, it enables Frank to maybe do a bit more, but it's tough at the moment when Brazil, you know, has. The mechanical prowess they do. You know, Xfell obviously on the end of playing well. Spent one of the Hanzo showing that flexibility from that Sombra. Ludwig still doing well in the Tracer. And, uh, you know, Brazil as a unit really you know, have been shutting out Chile in their pushes. Yeah, lots of really good fuel coming through from them as we're going to see. Brazil is looking like a very strong team, team right now. Used to be able to negate some of that looking like a very strong team. From Debout, this time on the Hanzo as Ram. Still on that Tracer. Going to try to bite into this backline, but they're playing from behind. These country spammings hard. are really annoying. Yeah, wait until you see USA versus Canada, Canada, though. That's going to be a fucking... That's going to be probably insane. Chanzo not giving up that headshot one shot. Coming I'm fine with the spam as long as it's not one-man spam. Meanwhile, Nade hits three. If it's Brazil, one person doing it, that then that's cringe. Now, about sits back at the boxes of the back of the map, but Svenko is the one with a bit of the space here with the Brigitte, Anna, and Diva. Meanwhile, it's just an Anna and Brigitte and Diva on the other side. Ram, though, does find Ludwig on the low ground while a tracer for 1v1 was happening on the cart. Stopping that push for now. Svenko does connect on to Lazu, though. Nice shot from Devao onto that Hanzo. Tries to... Maybe deal with that pressure from Svenko here now. They have to back off now. Without that Ana, they do not have the sustainability to be able to keep the mech. And if they lose the mech, they lose control of being able to have both bad news of high ground and low ground. That's what we're seeing. Everyone to try to support this life as long as possible. Really good use of those boosters coming through from Brack 180. And using that defense matrix to be able to keep the mech until Lazo is able to regroup with the team. But <laughs> Brazil already passed that first opening that took Chile such a long time to be able to break. And they're barely past it and has to deal with the anti grenade, but Brazil slowed down temporarily. Oh, that I think he's gonna be go caught out. No, nope, never mind. Barely makes it back to his team. Nice yeah, use of those blinks to get back to it. And also, Devout on the other side gets that kill onto Svenko. So, although Ludwig lives, his DPS partner does not. Dragon Strike. Oh, Devout, Devout with the kill. It connects onto Axel, okay, Devout. Now, okay, with both supports with the dragon. Alive, so he's both. Back out as Devout's Dragon Strike connects onto three members of Brazil to give them that fight win. And now they get to try and go back to holding that aggressive position. You can already see that Divider's angling. But that control will be able to take down Dalka as well. Wait a minute. Staggered in Baby D before and is only now dispatched De towards that. Devout is point. fucking popping, bro. The majority of ultimates in their pocket, but Chili, because they won that fight, have the means of positioning in anticipation of yep. all of them. So they hopefully shouldn't get caught out by one. It's going to take Brazil throwing one in to kite them into a net. See what Ludwig does here on the left side, but this is what we like to see out of Chile so far. Debout has kind of been coming online on Gibraltar. Meanwhile, Ludwig dropped towards the card. Dragon Strike from Svenko over to the top. Forced Chile off into that pulse bomb. Nice potential. stick from and Ludwig. Is. Debout is removed from the line. I, Ludwig has been an Chile insane player gone. this series. He's been doing such a great job. Entirely avoided as the card is now pushing towards the very end. The only one touching is Frack. Down below with the Nana Boost goes up to the high ground to force that D-bomb from Dalka, who will get the remake off as Debout will 
rejoin his team in a second. Ludwig down below will have to deal with the rally on full science. Deep bomb from track above the high ground does not connect to find a kill. Nya with the rest of his team come through towards that car with the rally and an nano boost engaged on their side with the ultimate advantage. They take okay. full advantage. I was just about to say, it looks like Ludwig is shooting something, but it doesn't look like his team is also helping him get that kill. So it looks like they're not really target focusing. I don't know if you guys also saw that. takes a lot of ultimates, however, but Brazil will But they managed to got it. They, they, they managed to get first point. point. That with 36 seconds remaining, Jesus Christ. Harumi pushes him out some primes on my friend. And not get staggered out as you can see Brazil already eyeing up all of these grounds to be able to hold away from the defense. Sleep hits on to devout. The hands are not able to push the diva away. Defense Matrix now coming through for both of them as everyone just fights for control of flame. A nice nade from Xville onto the back line, but no shots from Sven Code to kill him. He drops down to the fourth lift, but Chile has to give up that top space. Ludwig though does trade back Ram yet again. It feels like this has happened multiple times in this series. Ludwig getting the better of that tracer duel, but he did have some support from his own Brigitte. Meanwhile, Dragon Strike to try to equalize it, but it just forces them off that high ground spot. Actually, oh, this is gonna be a big on to Nia. The cart still pushing in this fight. Ludwig has oh, that ball ready to go. He three, J three, J3, man. Down, even though Ludwig's pulse bomb was not a success, they still have that man advantage. Dragon Strike still available. Throws it onto the high ground to make sure they have to drop off towards that forklift side. Lazu avoiding that damage. Cart still pushing, like you said, Mox. Dalka is insane. I love watching. We don't get a lot of support POV, so I really can't tell you about the support players. But they're doing a great job from what I've seen. But that, like the tank POVs, have been insane. Frack is insane. Dalka is insane. They've been able to push that payload so close to the finish line. Chile, yes, they have the advantage in terms of ultimate economy. But look what Svenko's done. He's onto the Sombra. He's going to be able to threaten that back cap, and Chile is always going to have to be vigilant that they don't allow the back cap to come through they're anchored in position and that gives so much more freedom to brazil oh. dps oh my god about almost goes down but has those kills from Lanzu pulls spawn from Ram, does not connect either. And like I said, the cart pressure is still immense, but the Bow's taking advantage. I'm actually of this really high surprised space. that Brazil doesn't go to the high ground. They've been, they've been just literally trying to force it on the low ground, ground the whole time. From the oh my god, the Bow gets picked off on the other side. No more one shot potential. Chile might have to use some ultimates to sustain here. Oh, they switched the Sombra they here. Sombra chaser now. With the defensive matrix, but a nano boost re engaged now from Chile. Brazil kind of wanted that, so if Chile doesn't find any picks, this could be an ultimate that is not necessarily wasted, but at least doesn't result in any kills. Dalka now comes from the top side, does have that Diva Bomb ready to go. They also have their own Nano engage as well, dives onto that Hans over the pocket. From the back line of Lazoo and Papo is too much to deal with. Dalka, though, now is deep in enemy territory. Gets the Nana boost. Dives onto the Hanzo. No double pocket. Or defensive matrix will save you there. The sleep does come through on a Dalka, but he's immediately woken up. The rally here to sustain with the Diva Bomb, but does not find any kills. Dalka desperately trying to find Lazoo on the back line. Trying nice. To avoid all that nice. I don't know if his Papo team's going to be alive when he comes back. Zavanko! Zavanko! With a 2K melee on to Ram and Papo. Oh my god. Him those oh. kills. Oh my bomb god! Enables Brazil to capture out on Gibraltar to give the net 2-0 victory. God, God damn, bro. That was a good fucking match.